Welcome back to Warsaw Fan TV. We're here to preview Colchester against Warsaw. We will be on live stream watch along yeah. and uh, watching it on iFollow, of course. So that's going to be tomorrow night from 7.40. But what do we know about Colchester? We've um, we've got a tough, a tough <laughs> we've got game, a tough which we didn't think we would We have. thought we'd finished our tough run of games and we're into the easy stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, it never quite works out like that, does it? No. What do we know about Colchester then? Well, Colchester, uh, the last five games, have had two wins, two draws and one loss. And we have had one win, three draws and one loss. So they are in a better form. They're in better form than us. Um, they have beat Swindon. Um, last two home matches, both draws. Um, home to Barrow. That was a, a last, last minute, 96 minute equaliser to grab a point there. So uh, they keep going to the end. And uh, one all draw at home to Salford as well. Yeah. So uh, there's some good teams they've been beating. They've also beat Harrogate, Rochdale and Hartlepool. But uh, definitely there's no easy knock-ins there. And um, it's looking quite tough. a few of these uh, chances. Uh, the win on Saturday, new striker, Tom Hopper. Yeah. Probably Where's he from? from? From Lincoln. Scored uh, 22 goals in uh, his total of 100 appearances. For, uh, That's not a bad, not a bad return. Yeah. Uh, it was a header, I understand. Um, so, it's uh, aerial battle yeah. is uh, what we're going to be on for. So, good old Matt Bloomfield, their boss. Quite an impressive January. Can they uh, maintain it? Is his call for Warsaw? We get into a position now where right, it's a bit. We've got to start winning matches, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, we need to start winning matches, but it's the squad that we need to put out. Because if you think our uh, defence and midfield, like, it's pretty it's pretty set, isn't it, really? Well, actually, the whole team's pretty set. <laughs> it but was like, pretty set until they all started getting injured again. Yeah, but that's the thing. With people getting injured, it's like, what do we do? Because in midfield, if like so far we've got Kinsella, Earring, Riley's getting back to fitness a bit, but not as much. Which means that the only defensive... And Maddox as well. Maddox has, uh, didn't make the bench in the end. Yeah. Injury. I think that's just illness, I think. Yeah, so, so no, no, nothing major. Right. Yeah. But then, that's a lot of midfielders, which are like key players, who would um, usually fit in, in maybe a defensive role or an attacking role. Yeah. So then we need to switch it round, so then maybe some of the defensive players aren't as good as go, like going forward. So, um, so, good so what are you thinking for the team for Saturday? I think the uh, the first four names are fairly easy to predict. Owen Evans in goal, White, Daniels and is it Month? We don't know why he was missing. Maybe um, illness. It could have been illness. Joe Lowe. But he did all right, didn't he? He looked a bit he wobbly I mean, defensively. Well, but I think the only way he looked wobbly really was the fact that he was making a lot of clearances, which is not necessarily bad. It might not have been the greatest choice in the game, but he got the line, he got his lines cleared, ball out of the way. Yeah, team no, came back to the position when they were on the counter attack, so it makes it makes sense that he cleared it. I'd sooner have month back in with you. Yeah, but then like for, I, 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 in all fairness, we could have low playing as well and put Hayden White out on that right instead yeah, of right wing back. Yeah, yeah last time out there, White's all right going forward. He didn't so look that good out there, did he? They did mix around a little bit. So, um, yeah. Low or Month, I'd be interested to know what you think. Um, right wing back, most likely going to be Tommy Knowles. Yeah. Um, he was slipping into the back three on Saturday. I don't know what was going on there. Mm -hmm. On the left side, Gordon, or is it time for Taylor Allen to have a run? Um, I don't know. I think Gordon has had a, a great run of form and a, a great couple of uh, games so far. But uh, we haven't seen much from Tad Allen, so I think it might be a wise, might, wise decision might get to try some, and bring him in. Get might him get some minutes. Yeah. Um, I think front two is um, definitely going to be the Matt attack. The Matt attack haven't really sort of fired yet. Matt Stevens and uh, Jamil Matt. I think they will against Colchester. Then hopefully they can get on the go. Yeah. Um, what we haven't mentioned yet is the midfield. Warsaw's midfield... Is um, a, a mess. I they're guess. just not doing it, aren't they? Yeah, no. We're missing Kinsella, but uh, Comley doesn't do bad yeah, as Comley, a CDM. Comley hasn't like we'd always prefer Kinsella over Comley, but Kinsella, I mean Comley, is he's doing a good replacement. I'd say. I think yeah. he's doing all right. Wilmot, Wilmot did okay as well, didn't they? Yeah, but I'd what prefer I mean, as a wing back to be honest. And then, and then Hutch. 
Yeah, Hutch. Hutch got the assist, and he's got the seventh. He had got his seventh assist for the season. Which, if you look at assists throughout League Two, there ain't many with more than him. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, for me, he just doesn't take part in the game enough. He's just not contributing enough for me. No, I think maybe if we took Hutch out for a game, maybe like he needs to rest. Took, well, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe he just needs a rest. But we haven't then, many options, have we? Yeah, but then. If we do take him out, maybe it's like a thing like, oh, I'm not going to get a guaranteed spot. Like, we know he's a class player, but like maybe him having that little bit of fight that he's not going to be yeah. playing every week in, week out, like spark him to play better. So maybe if we like, I don't know, he's got Maddox a, all around. He's, he's got a sort a good of, idea. Well, Maddox, if, he, if he's just got a little bit of illness, a little bit of sickness, and he's okay, he's yeah, back, he'll be, all right, of he'll, be uh, he'll be in and around the team, I would think. Ram... He's been playing some games in the under-18s recently, and he was away with training with the uh, the Irish team, Irish youngsters. Mm -hmm. Is he out there playing with them because he's been cast aside, or is he just getting match time, ready to come back for the fight? Well, I hope it's the second one. <laughs> and I do. I hope it's the second one. <laughs> to be honest, I think Hutch, if Hutch is starting... I'd like to see Ram on for the last 30 minutes, see what he can do, yeah. and get regular game time for him. We haven't got many other options. And Ram, he does always get his shot away. And um, he's gonna he's a creator, isn't he, as well? Mm -hmm. um, he, he's perhaps not strong enough to sort of hold off lots of challenges and hold the ball up that much. But, I mean, he is, he's a skillful player. He's a good bit of flair that we need in the team. So um, that's one for me. That's the case for Ram. Yeah. Um, up front, now there's there's some options at near the in the last thirty minutes. If we're behind and we're chasing the game, or we desperately need a goal, Andy Williams is a wily old fox. <laughs> He's, he can help get a goal. But yeah. if you're under the cosh like we were on Saturday. Andy Williams, he's not, not the guy. The you want to bring he's on. not the guy. And I don't know why. Like, he bought Connor Wilkinson and Andy Williams on it, and neither of them have got really the got the legs. I mean, Connor Wilkinson has got a bit of pace, but considering that he's coming back from an injury, it's not going to be gallivanting down the wing. Running his, he's not going to be business. sort of. He's he, not he, did, be he did plenty of running on Saturday business. when he came Yeah, on. no, he did, but then he got injured. It was, it was a sad moment, really, because yeah. um, I think that might be season finished unless. It's not as bad as first thought, but didn't look good. But Douglas James Taylor, I think he needs to get more game. Why is why is he not getting more game time? Is For he... the small amount of time he's had on the pitch, he's got a good return. As I said on the last preview, yeah. he, now DJ's gone. He's our most productive player by minutes on the pitch, and uh, by accident he got on the bench on Saturday, and then he never brought him on. That's like when even when. Connor got injured, like, surely yeah. it makes sense to bring him on. But... Yeah, and he brought yeah. Songo on. Songo, oh, don't, no, no, don't we're not going to mention Songo. Don't he's get a me spy mention. from Bradford. He's a spy from Bradford, I'm sure he is. <sighs> right then, but uh, plenty to discuss on the live stream, so join us for that. Yeah. Fan TV, join the pain. If you haven't already subscribed, we are approaching a milestone of 1500, so if you can help us over that line, that would be excellent. Thanks for watching.